Well, hello there. I thought that I would give you a little tour of my area that I like to call, I guess, Command Central. This is my area of my art room where we get started on all lessons. My students, I greet them at the door and then they come on in and they take a seat on the floor. I teach my students for 30 minutes, twice a week, kindergarten through fourth grade, all of my classes begin this way. I used to put taped lines on the floor so my students would know where to sit, but that was a little problematic. Sometimes fingers would pick at the tape, other times students would be sitting too close to one another, and some students need a little bit more space. So now my solution is to use a Cricut. Not only do we have little circles, but we have numbers. So at my school, when our students line up, we line up in a numbered order. This is decided by the classroom teacher, but this really helps me because when my students come to art, they know exactly where to come in and take a seat on the floor. Let's talk classroom management. If I were going to be teaching art on a deserted island and I could only have two things, these are the two things that I swear by. Thing number one, my open and closed sign. This sign, what I will usually do is I'll turn it around at the beginning of art class and it means that we are open to have a conversation so my students know when they walk in and they sit down if I flip my sign around they are free to raise their hand and tell me anything their cute little heart desires I usually field about three of those comments and I try to keep them kind of short so that way we still have time to create art that takes up maybe a couple of minutes at the beginning of class but my students know that as soon as I turn my sign around to say closed that now's the time to lower your hand. Even if I didn't get a chance to chat with you, I'll try to chat with you while you're working, but now it's time for us to get ready to listen and learn. The other thing that I absolutely love is something called my happy sad board. So my happy sad board is simply a dry erase board with a happy face and a not so happy face. And I use this all the time. So when you look at my happy sad board, when my students walk in to my art class, if they are walking in correctly and quietly, I will just start showering them with praise. Thank you, Bella. Hey, let's see who's sitting as nicely as, let's see who's making it happen so I can put some lines under the happy face. Thank you, Hazel. Thanks, Isaac. Ooh, I see you, Marcel. And second row looks great. Thank you, little bit. Hello, Adeline. Thanks for holding the door, Adeline. Hey, friends, I'll turn this around in case anybody has something they wanna say. What's up, Marcel? There you have it. What's up, Crystal? Yes, Bella. I'm gonna turn my sign around, we'll talk more in a little Let's bit. Let's say as they're walking in, somebody is yelling out, forgetting to raise their hand. And I will say, oh no, somebody is forgetting that we wait till we're seated and raise our hand, but that's okay. If I just say it like that, but that's okay, and just draw a little tally mark there, not making a big deal out of it, but it's just enough for that student to know, oh, that's right, I forgot to raise my hand. Okay, so the basic routine is when my students, they walk in, they sit down on their number spot, flip the sign around because they usually have something they want to share, take three comments before turning my sign around. While I'm watching them come in or while we're having a conversation, I'm encouraging positive behaviors by drawing lines here and deflecting those negative behaviors by adding lines there if necessary. As soon as I flip that sign around, my students know that conversation time is over and we're ready to get started. And I do that right away by jumping in with our art class greeting and catchphrase. <laughs> I'll go first. Hello, my most amazing artist. And you say, I make mistakes. I make mistakes. But deep inside, I got one sentence. I am a artist. It sounds like this. Hello, my most amazing artist. And they greet me back with a hello, my most amazing art teacher and then I say how are you to which they respond ready to create after we kind of go back and forth with that then I jump into our art class catchphrase which we say together I make messes I make mistakes but deep inside I got what it takes I am an artist.